Listen, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here. Andrew Ung said AI is the new electricity, but let me tell you something that's actually underselling it. Uh, AI isn't just changing the game, it's creating an entirely new playing field. Hey there, this is an ex AI clone. While the real Anik is out there running multiple businesses when scaling companies and working with clients, I'm here to share his knowledge. Today, I'm going to share the seven AI skills you must master in 2025 if you wanna grow your business or your career. Listen, here's the brutal truth that nobody's telling you. In 2025, it won't matter if you're a programmer, marketer, or salesperson. The only thing that will matter is whether you're an AI power user or not. Period, end of story. I've built multiple seven and eight figure businesses over 18 plus years, and I'm telling you right now, this is the biggest shift I've ever seen. And I'm not just watching from the sidelines, I'm in the trenches. I'm investing millions in AI technologies because I know where this is headed. Today, I'm going to break down the seven critical AI skills that will separate the winners from the losers in the next economy. Not trends, not theories, the actual skills that will determine whether you thrive or get left behind. Why these skills matter now? When Sundar Pichai says, AI is more profound than electricity or fire, that's not hyperbole. That's the CEO of Google telling you what's coming. Let me hit you with some numbers that should wake you up. McKinsey, not some random blog, but McKinsey reports AI could add $13 trillion to the global economy by 2030. That's trillion with a T. But here's the part that should really get your attention. The World Economic Forum estimates 83 million jobs will be displaced by AI by 2027. Now, the more important stat here is that they also say 69 million new jobs will be created. So here's my question to you. Which side of that equation do you want to be on? This isn't about fear, it's about opportunity. Those who adapt quickly will have a two to three year advantage over everyone else. Think about that, a two to three year head start in a completely transformed economy. That's massive. So here's the seven skills you should learn. The first skill you absolutely must master is prompt engineering. This isn't just typing questions into chat GPT. This is the art and science of effectively communicating with AI systems to get exactly what you want. Deloitte found that well-crafted prompts improve AI output quality by up to 40%. That's the difference between amateur hour and professional results. This is the foundation that unlocks every other AI capability. Get this wrong, and nothing else works. It's like trying to build a business without knowing how to communicate. Here's a simple framework to write better prompts. Master this now. First, role. Defining what expertise the AI should embody. Are you asking it to think like a CMO, a data scientist, or a product designer? Be specific. Second context, providing the right information and examples. The more relevant context you give, the better the output. Third, instruction, being specific and clear about what you want. Vague prompts, get vague results. And fourth format, specifying exactly how you want information presented. Do you want bullet points, a table, or a step-by-step -step guide? Whatever it is, be specific. I see people making the same mistake over and over. They treat AI like a search engine. Look, it's not Google. It's a reasoning partner that needs clear direction. So how do you actually get started with prompt engineering? Start by creating a personal library of prompts that work for your specific needs. Keep a document or spreadsheet where you save your most effective prompts. For example, if you're in marketing, create template prompts for audience research, content ideation, ad copy creation, email sequences, social media posts. Then iterate and refine these prompts based on the results you get. The best prompt engineers are constantly testing and improving their prompts. Tools like Prompt Perfect or Dust can help you optimize your prompts, but honestly, the best way to learn is through consistent practice. Spend 30 minutes a day working with AI, and you'll see insane improvements in just a few weeks. If you wanna learn more about how to prompt, I'm sharing a link to the video we did. Check that out after this. The second critical skill is AI-assisted development, creating software and digital tools without traditional coding skills. GitHub reports that developers using AI complete tasks 55% faster on average. But here's the kicker. You don't need to be a developer anymore to build software. This is a paradigm shift. Just as calculators democratize complex math, AI is democratizing software development. You can now build what would have required a team of engineers just a year ago. We're witnessing the evolution from no code to AI code, and it's happening right now. 
The people who master this skill will build the next generation of businesses while others are still waiting for developer resources. And so how do you get started with AI assisted development? Here are the steps I recommend. Start with platforms like Replit, which has AI coding assistance built in. Um, you can literally describe what you want to build and it will generate the code for you. Learn the basics of how to modify and customize the code that AI generates. You don't need to write code from scratch, but understanding how to tweak what the AI produces is valuable. Familiarize yourself with API documentation for tools like OpenAI, Anthropic, or Stability AI. These are the building blocks you'll use to create AI-powered applications. Build simple projects first. Create a personal assistant that helps with a specific task you do regularly, then gradually increase complexity. The key is to start small and focus on solving real problems. Don't try to build the next chat GPT. Instead, build something that makes your life or business better in a specific way. The third critical skill is AI content creation. Using AI to develop high quality content across multiple formats at scale. The AI content creation market is growing at 26% annually according to market research future. Why? Because the demand for content has grown 10 times while budgets have stayed flat. Something has to give. AI is transforming every type of content creation, written content like blogs, emails, ads, social media, and reports. Visual content like images, graphics, presentations, and designs, video content including scripts, concepts, and editing assistance, and multi-channel content with coordinated messaging across platforms. But let's talk quality. There's a massive difference between generic AI content and AI-assisted content created by someone who knows what they're doing. The best approach combines human creativity with AI assistance. You guide the AI with your expertise and it amplifies your capabilities. Here's how to get started with AI content creation. Master the content briefing process. The more specific your instructions to the AI, the better the output. Include tone, style, audience, purpose, and examples of what you like. Develop a content workflow that includes AI generation, human editing, and AI refinement. Here's an example for it. Use AI to generate an outline. Then have a human approve and modify the outline. Next, use AI to draft sections based on the approved outline. Then have a human edit and refine the draft. After that, use AI to polish and optimize the final piece. That's how you create great content using AI. Learn how to use AI for content repurposing. A single blog post can become social media posts, an email newsletter, podcast talking points, and video scripts with the right prompts. Experiment with multimodal tools that combine text and images, like Midjourney or Dolly integrated with text generation. Build templates for recurring content needs. For example, create a template for product descriptions, case studies, or weekly newsletters. The future trend to watch is multimodal AI that can work across text, images, video, and audio simultaneously. We're already seeing tools that can take a simple prompt and generate an entire marketing campaign across multiple channels and formats. That's where this is headed. The fourth critical skill is AI workflow automation. Creating AI systems that handle routine business processes 24 seven without human intervention. McKinsey estimates AI could automate 60 to 70% of data processing tasks. Think about that, two thirds of the work that's currently being done manually could be automated. This is about operational leverage. It's about doing 10 times more with the same resources. It's a game changer for businesses of any size. And the difference between traditional automation and AI powered automation is intelligence. Traditional automation follows rigid rules, if this, then that. AI automation learns and adapts. It handles exceptions. It gets smarter over time. What you're essentially creating are digital employees that work alongside humans. They handle the routine, repetitive tasks while humans focus on high value, creative work. It's not about replacing people. It's about elevating what they can accomplish. Here's how to get started with AI workflow automation. First, identify repetitive processes in your business that follow patterns. Look for tasks that are done frequently, that follow a consistent process, tasks that require minimal judgment and take significant time. Map out the current process step by step. Be detailed about inputs, outputs, decision points, and exceptions. Start with simple automations using tools like Zapier or Make combined with AI services. For more complex workflows, explore platforms like N8N or build custom solutions using Langchain or Llama Index. Implement gradually, starting with a human-in-the-loop approach where the AI suggests actions that humans approve before execution. 
some practical examples to consider. First, email triage and response. Second, customer support ticket categorization and routing. Third, data entry and validation. Fourth, social media monitoring and engagement. Number five, lead qualification and follow-up. The key is to start with processes that have clear the key is to start with processes that have clear inputs and outputs, then gradually tackle more complex workflows as you gain confidence and experience. Using AI to extract meaningful insights from complex data that would be impossible to see manually. IBM reports companies using AI data analysis see 60% higher customer satisfaction. Why? because they understand their customers at a level that was previously impossible. We're facing a data overwhelm problem. More data being generated, less insight being extracted. AI solves this by finding the signal in the noise. Data-driven decision-making consistently outperforms intuition-based approaches. A study by MIT found that companies in the top third of their industry in data-driven decision-making were on average 5% more productive and 6% more profitable than their competitors. This creates a sustainable competitive advantage because the insights you gain compound over time. Your AI gets smarter, your data gets richer, and the gap between you and your competitors widens. Here's how to get started with AI data analysis. Focus on asking the right questions. The quality of insights depends on the quality of your questions. Instead of how are sales doing, ask which customer segment showed the highest growth last quarter and what factors contributed to that growth Learn to prepare data for AI analysis. Clean structured data leads to better insights. Tools like Excel, Google Sheets, or Airtable combined with AI can help with basic data cleaning. Start with simple analysis using tools like ChatGPT for exploratory data analysis, Microsoft Excel with Copilot, Google Sheets with Gemini, Tableau with AI features, and Power BI with AI capabilities. Move beyond descriptive analytics, what happened to predictive analytics, what will happen, and prescriptive analytics, what should we do about it? Build dashboards that update automatically and provide real-time insights to decision makers. The most valuable skill here isn't technical expertise, it's the ability to translate business questions into data questions and data insights back into business actions. Focus on that translation layer and you'll create enormous value. Skill number six, AI compliance ethics. Implementing AI responsibly within regulatory frameworks while maintaining ethical standards. This might not sound as exciting, as the other skills, but ignore it at your own risk. Deloitte reports that 68% of organizations cite ethical concerns as a top risk in AI adoption. The regulatory landscape is evolving rapidly. The EU AI Act creates the first comprehensive AI regulation framework, and other regions are following suit. This isn't going away, it's intensifying. There's a strong business case for ethical AI beyond just avoiding fines. Research from Accenture shows that companies with strong ethical AI practices outperform their peers by three to 5% in terms of trust metrics, which directly impacts customer retention and lifetime value. This skill protects your brand reputation and customer trust. One AI ethics scandal can undo years of brand building in days. Just ask any of the major companies that have faced backlash for biased or problematic AI implementations. Here's how to get started with AI compliance and ethics. First, develop a basic understanding of key ethical principles in AI. Next, transparency. Can you explain how decisions are made? Next, fairness. Does your AI treat different groups equitably? Privacy. How is personal data being used and protected? Accountability. Who's responsible when things go wrong? Safety. What safeguards prevent harmful outputs? And then create simple documentation practices for all your AI systems. There's a lot more to this. This is just a glimpse of how you can get started. You always need to stay informed about regulatory developments in your industry and regions where you operate. Businesses need to integrate this from the very beginning, and that's where your leverage comes from. Look, you don't need to become an ethics expert, but you do need to develop a framework for thinking about these issues and addressing them proactively. The seventh and final critical skill is AI strategic integration. Bringing AI capabilities together into a cohesive business strategy that creates transformative results. PwC reports that 85% of CEOs believe AI will significantly change their business models in five years. The question isn't if AI will transform your business, it's how. This is about taking a holistic approach. Moving from isolated AI projects to an integrated AI strategy that transforms your entire operation. 
The most common strategic error I see is treating AI as a technology project rather than a business transformation initiative. AI isn't just another tool. It's a fundamental reimagining of how work gets done. The leadership mindset required for successful transformation is one of continuous learning and adaptation. The leaders who succeed with AI are those who are comfortable with ambiguity, who can think systemically and who can inspire their teams to embrace change. Here's how to develop your AI strategic integration skills start with a comprehensive assessment. Where are your biggest operational bottlenecks? Which processes consume the most resources? Where do you have the most valuable data? Which customer touch points could be enhanced? What competitive threats could AI help address? Once you answer these, you need to develop a prioritization framework based on potential impact revenue, cost, experience, implementation, feasibility, strategic alignment, and risk factors. Create a roadmap that balances quick wins to build momentum, plus strategic initiatives with longer term payoffs. Establish metrics and feedback loops to measure success and adapt quickly. The the key is thinking holistically about how AI can transform your entire business model, not just automate individual tasks. This requires both strategic vision and practical implementation skills. Implementation mindset. Now let's talk about how to actually implement these skills. Those who master these skills now will have a two to three year head start. There are four critical success factors to focus on. First, sequential learning. Start with fundamentals. Master prompt engineering before you try to build complex AI systems. Second, application focus. Learn through implementation. Theory is useless without practice. Third, progressive mastery. Build competence through practice. You won't be an expert overnight, but you'll get better with each iteration. And fourth, community. Learn from others' experiences. Don't reinvent the wheel. There are common barriers you'll need to overcome. Technical intimidation is a big one. But remember, you don't need to be technical to leverage AI. Tool overwhelm is another. You need to focus on capabilities, not specific platforms. Implementation hesitation can paralyze you. Start small and scale what works. I recommend thinking about this in a 30, 60, 90 day framework. In the first 30 days, focus on foundational understanding. Learn the basics of prompt engineering. That's it. If you want to watch more content like this, subscribe to this channel. And remember, when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back.